Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Lamex here from We Are Polish, and today is a Cinema 4D tutorial. And today we'll be making a uh, more advanced floor tiles, however you want to call it. And we're gonna make a wallpaper for me, by the way. So we're gonna make a floor and another floor. And you're asking, asking why do we have a second floor? Well, we're gonna rotate it. 90 degrees which is gonna put up oh did I delete it? I did so here we are just move it back a bit I advise 400 meters or 400 whatever it is and we have that and we're gonna put in some text we're gonna say Lumix 150 Mitsumishi um resident spacing is um seventy I guess. No that would be too far. Fifty. Forty. Um nice effect. And just put it a bit up so the caps won't go out of it. The thing I do when you put it up, just look at a white line down here, and uh, when you can see it, just barely. There you go. Um, and that's how it looks like for now. Just move it back a bit. However, just let's leave it as it is. Um, get some colors. And uh, I want some green, some dark green with some luminous Lamex and uh, some black, gray, and some reflection. And in your selection, or one which is radius one, which is the um, how do you call it again? Which is the cap? Yeah, and that's what we've got. And don't worry about the red because it's gonna disappear later on. Gonna now get a cube and press the um, the roll thingy. <coughs> Sorry, I've a I'm sick, and I'll just make a it down so it's just a little tile and I would leave it as a square it's a nice effect and get a Mogra cloner object leave it as it is now put a cube into the cloner object click on the cloner object and move it back and move it more or less in the middle between the camera and you now count is well we go to a grid grid array then it's well, that's one. Then it's three, one, three. That's what you have. What you sh should have. Anyway, just look what I'm doing. That's more easy now. And we're gonna put it up to a uh, ten, and ten, and just get a size of it. No, a thousand isn't enough, so two thousand. If you do it exactly as I do, it will be around one thousand eight hundred. Ah, uh, one thousand eight hundred. There we go. One eight fifty, and the same on the other side. And there you go. We've got a grid. And you can make the gaps smaller, and uh, <coughs> it looks kind of good. But you can make the gaps smaller, as I told you know. Can I go one eight thirty? One eight. Oh, oh no! Again. What did I did? Oh. 
career. Oh, sorry for me. And that's more or less what you get. And uh, con uh, Control C and uh, Control V have the same thing. Just flip it 90 degrees and put it onto the wall. And I kind of like the way it's done. But not, I don't really like the writing, but anyway. There we go. And you've got this kind of thing. You can put some caps onto it. And uh, I'm gonna fix that. Should I should have to taken off the No. Should look a bit better. <laughs> yeah, a bit better. Just get some It's white. Let's put some uh, lemonade to it. It's fairly much it for a tutorial. Oh no. Here we go. Then. And render it out. Looks pretty nice as for me. And uh, I think we need one more thing. Get it up. Put the text a bit higher. And uh, expect more tutorials in Mac Forty and uh, more tutorials in the uh, in uh, Photoshop. I don't have Photoshop yet, but still expect it. And of course, don't forget render settings. So twelve eighty by ten twenty four. That's by desktop. I advise saving in a PNG, but fair enough. Um, JPEG, but I prefer PNG because it's a uh, 16 bit, gives you more uh, color. You can save in Photoshop and 32 bit. That's if you want to put it into Photoshop or something. You're going to save in JPEG. And of course, mm, I mean, occlusion and global illumination. And that's fairly much it. And uh, put some light in. And before I forget, I get a camera. Always get a camera, guys. If you're uh, new or not new, just get a camera. That's what you have to do. Because uh, you can look around and uh, still can get a view of your camera. Because it's really hard to get into the same position you are. Let's get it to 85%. And oh, gonna take ages, but yeah, that's pretty much it for a tutorial, guys. And uh, sorry, probably for the quality, so please watch in uh, 480 minimum, 480p, and uh, probably be in a uh, up in 720. So thanks, guys, for watching. And I guess uh, I'll see you tomorrow, or I guess I'll see you today again in my another tutorial or a video. Um. It will be probably uploaded on the 9th because my internet's down now. Today is the 7th. Yeah, and uh, two days uh, to get a new limit on my internet. So, yeah, probably be up on 9th uh, with the uh, other videos in uh, fairly much. Uh, just give it time to render out. And just tell me, what do you think of them tiles? Do you like my tutorial? Do you want to see more uh, tutorials, more Photoshop or Cinema 4D? I know a lot of stuff in Cinema 4D, so I can show you. We'll have a look on some effects the next tutorial. Huh, if you're interested. Oh, come on. Oh, and by the way, be fighting, I forgot about it, but I don't want to interrupt it now. Um, if you put a black paint on my Lumix, can you wrote in R1 as a radius one? You have to put the same black color and write R2 for the back. If you have the caps on the back, because the first caps are at the front, the other caps are on the back. And if you put R1, it will apply only to the front one. So put another color onto it and uh, put a R2 onto it. 
and uh, all the um, selections was been couple letters so oh come on render out it's nearly done yeah I guess uh, thanks guys for watching it was Lumix from We Are Polished and uh, here I gonna end my commentary so see ya